hey everyone welcome back to another video and i've got an interesting one for you guys today considering how cookies and the bag of frost match have taken over the entire offensive meta in legend league and in your clan voice so this one is a slightly different variation of the same thing but it's a little bit more controlled in the sense that you don't have to depend on your uh, roof riders and the ice golems in the other spam variant to create the funnel as you've seen most content creators uh, use these days. This is mimicking what Stars does in Legend League where I think he has like two healers and he's got like more or less the same army composition. I think I've shifted some of the smaller troops around just a little bit but otherwise it's pretty much the same and you'll notice that I actually have like the rage. I have I have upgraded my rage or uh, on the board and yes it's finally time like it's it's been such a long time and i finally have the rage uh, gem on the warden and i've put the frosty on him as well so if it's it's not it doesn't matter too much you can choose even like any other troop like if you had a uh, any other pet i meant to say if you have the spirit fox feel free to use the spirit fox in your rc you can experiment with having the diggy on the warden instead of frosty because whatever pet, whatever pet you're going to use on him is pretty much going to die anyway. With well, that being said, let's just dive into a few attacks and I'll explain how you can use this attack. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, for the first one over here, we've got an interesting box base. It's like a teaser box base. I'm guessing people try to switch to these layouts because of how heavy the end is and it's mostly like a lot of trash style defenses out in front with a lot of multi infernos as well definitely to kind of uh, force you to use your resources a bit early and you'll even notice like we've got a cc we've got some enemy heroes at the end and overall this could be a good style of base to counter the spam variant of this attack where we have like no healing at all but you'll notice over here that i've, I've got like two healers and we're gonna do it kind of like a smash attack and having the rage aura on the warden is gonna help a ton and we're, we're just gonna see that right away so you'll notice that i'm i'm having a flame finger equipped right over here and what i'm gonna do is like i don't need to necessarily use a log launcher on every attack like the other spam variant uses because i have the root riders in this army composition and if we have a good path for them defined through the base they pretty much open up the walls anyway so that gives us flexibility on the siege choice we can use siege barracks we can use a drill we can use a flame flinger we don't need to always use a log launcher so it's a matter of preference it's uh, completely up to you but you'll notice that there's definitely a flame flinger uh, weakness in this area right over here like it's um it's like touching the town hall like the bomb tower sure there's three builder huts over here but it, sh it it will not matter too much for us because like this is already very good value for a flame finger because all, most of the defenses are around the town hall in this case uh, that being said let's just try to see what else we can do on this base to try to pick it apart and the main idea is to kind of like um like if you have if you notice weaknesses like this for the flame finger just go for it exploit it entirely um no reason to not take it up you can also use a flame flinger as a funnel that's completely up to you but over here i'm going to use a flame flinger independently and i'm going to be having an independent funnel running elsewhere so you will see that these corners on the base are a little light over here there's not much damage it's just maybe you'll have to fight a cannon or an archer tower at a time uh, you'll never have more than uh, any of those two defenses on you other than like the mortar as well So keeping that into mind, it's definitely a viable start for us where we can have like the warden walk going and I'm definitely going to take a full advantage of that. So I'm gonna try to uh, Cut this corner with my warden and I'm gonna try to push the smash through here and um that's going to create a, a nice path for us like you will see like this only this mortar is like a defense over here and most of the defenses are pretty much in this area so the root riders are going to open up the entire core into the multi infernos 
and there is not much else for us to really worry about now you see i've started using the cookies up top to kind of pull traps like i pulled these two teslas i have cleared a building over here that archer was just to touch the uh, test the range of the warden because you can't see the aura anymore um that's pretty much it for the setup and i'm just waiting for uh, some i'm just waiting for the defense to fall a bit but after that happens you'll even notice like now i'm just creating the funnel on the left side as well we've got a good number of cookies we can just spread them out a little bit they won't shot anything in the game even the walls it's no problem yeah so you'll notice look at this like if it, it didn't even matter that the king was about to target me i can just i can just get going <laughs> with the cookies uh, to help out no problem at all over there i dropped two cookies over here that royal champion is dead yep no problem at all for us so that's pretty much it for the setup you'll notice that i'll just zoom out a bit over here you'll notice how uh, they are following that pathing that i was talking about in the in the middle of the base so we we cleared this corner with the warden and we started our smash in over here and you'll see our healers are doing a fantastic job we don't really need too many rages with this army because of the rage aura on the warden and those bag of frostmite they are they are so broken they are definitely what brings out the success in this attack because for one housing space you're getting a freeze which then becomes a skeleton spell except that the skeleton spells are literally frostmites so it's it's like the utility of like two or maybe even three spells for the housing space of just one and you can see i'm just gonna keep spamming across most of the heavy defenses we have on the base even if i'm not very accurate with them the frost might just go to town and they make sure that everything just stays pretty much protected there's nothing to really worry about like they can't they don't even know what to target like look at the defenses in the core it's ridiculous like my king is right in front of the monolith but ice golem doesn't know what to do it's so silly uh, so yeah i haven't used any of my hero abilities i think i'm just gonna st about to start using them all my rooter are just uh, alive somehow as well because like even having two healers in your army composition just providing that initial bit of healing to kind of surpass uh your initial damage it, it goes such a long way they have a huge health pool the flame finger is about to take the town hall down in just a little, little bit maybe not too much longer i haven't even dropped my royal champion yet so yeah this is just <laughs> this is it's a more controlled version of the spam attack you can definitely see that so it's not an entirely brain dead attack that's why i decided to make a video about this as if, if it was just the spam style hit i probably wouldn't have made this video at least over here you have to think a little bit to decide how you want to allocate your resources and you it's not it's not going to be the flame finger all the time you're def you definitely have to think a bit about how and where you want to use which siege all right that's a three star for us on to the next one all right we've got another i would say common style of anti two star base again double poison not surprise at all considering the meta but um over here we need to figure out like okay where are we gonna start the smash you'll notice i'm not really sending my cookies with the smash i kind of use the cookies a support around the base to help funnel or some sort of uh, tank in front of the royal champion you could you could maybe see and um, we just need to figure out like an edge or some sort of area to kind of send our smash in so we need to think about the pathing for the root riders and how they'll open up specific walls in the base as well through which our heroes can float through and we need to also ensure that the funnel is at least decent enough to have some troops leak towards the town hall and get it so considering these um, initial requirements let's just think about how we can break this base down if you've seen my previous super bowler smash videos i have mentioned that this uh multi these multi infernos at like the the top and the bottom of the base they are susceptible to be taken down by a flame flinger uh it is very easy to tank this mortar so suppose I drop the flame thing at the bottom. I think that's what I'm going to do on this one. I'm going to drop the flame thing at the bottom, definitely. But it doesn't make sense to push my smash through over here because 
these guys are very very slow moving they're not like bowlers where they can uh, quickly get the town hall down if I, if I had to approach like this with the smash then even if I got this area down this entire area over here it is going to be completely like, it's just going to be so toxic for us to deal with and I would try to not do that it is easy for me to do in the bowlers because we have the rage spells we have our healers alive and we will have the king to help just support take all of the damage for us so that approach is definitely better for super bowlers but with the, uh, with this uh, new army over here where i have slow moving root riders that only target defenses and not the heroes i would rather punch through the uh, hero farm first so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a small funnel like this with my warden and i'm going to try to have the flame finger kind of clear this area out so let's just see that in action real quick having the rage aura on the warden is a huge help so what just again like you can see i've dropped the warden over here i'm gonna try to maybe push up to the multi inferno and the flame finger definitely keep an eye out for at the bottom as um, as the mortar is about to target it we can maybe even use a frostmite spell we can drop some cookies to help tank it and i'm gonna try to create something like this and then we can maybe drop some cookies to help uh, just finish the funnel and then we can definitely push a smash through over here it is a very clean path and there's just no option for most of our troops to go through so yeah we can see just that exactly happening over here no problems whatsoever mm -hmm. I, that cookie that we dropped to kind of start tanking the motor it pulled a tesla for us which was brilliant so that's definitely really good for us i even invested a frostmite spell we have 11 of them in this army so even if you're unable to tank a motor it's perfectly fine just use them <laughs> it's not an issue all right the warden has done his job remember to keep an eye on him because he cannot take damage for too long he's only got two healers so try to definitely get things moving as soon as your funnel is done do not get too greedy with him you will see i start dropping cookies at the top of the base as well because i want to kind of like start clearing this area and you can see how like this lane is being created through the base like this for uh, my smash to go through which is brilliant like it's just uh, keeping everybody together like this it's gonna work out really well for you and if things don't work out too well with your cookies, you will see like I even dropped my royal champion over here and I'm, I'm slowly sprinkling in cookies to help her out. And yeah, perfectly pop warden ability. I just caught everything right as the town hall was about to explode and we've still got like three frostmite spells for the back end. And it's just like the, we've got like two expos, we've got the monolith, that's pretty much it on the back end. And I still have all of my hero's abilities except for my warden because I use it for the town hall. But I still have all of the abilities and now the cookies and my flame flinger troops and just everything that I have left is gonna just handle this last bit really really easily. So yeah that's going to be another easy pickup for us. But again like this army is easy. I would just prefer this over the full spam version just because of how you have to think a little bit about how you'd like to approach this so creating that funnel creating uh, a funnel using like a specific siege uh, is just a bit better than pure spam in my opinion so keeping that in mind let's just move on to the next one and see how we can break the next base down okay we've got another teaser box base kind of uh, uh, yeah it's like a teaser box base the town hall is at the very end we've got the queen and royal champion also at the very end with most of the heavy defenses out over here we've got a bunch of single infernos out up front uh, my best guess is that it's to hopefully take out any root riders that come up in the area but for us because we are doing it kind of like a smash it should be a bit easier to handle like we do not have to worry too much about unexpected traps because we're using a flame finger we're not going to be using a log launcher and you can already see the plan coming into play like i just want to take out this corner with the flame finger i just want to take out this corner with the warden 
and if you look at the defenses that are left up it's enough for us to kind of push through over here the root riders will do the job as though they are log launchers and that is enough for us to keep pushing through the core now over here it's just amazing the frost might spell i dropped a few cookies as well and that inferno stands no chance it's a single inferno i just used one frost might spell that's it and my warden has already cleared the entire compartment that sage aura is amazing so once again do not get too greedy with the warden you'll see like as soon as he clears his funnel it's just it's time to go there's no reason to wait any longer he has only two healers on him and yeah once the once the funnel is created it's just go time start sprinkling in the rest of the frostbite bags that you've got and allow them to keep pushing through the healers even though there's like only one or two in a number you can see like my root riders are pretty healthy uh, i did not have to worry about them at all and even though they are going to start taking a but like a lot of damage now that rage on the warden plus this vulnerability pops so late into the attack it's fine like uh, i i'm not saving it until i get to the town hall i want to make sure everybody kind of stays alive so that most of these heavy defenses go down a royal champion a bit later the flame finger is still working up top over there it doesn't matter like uh, we've got pretty much everything that dealt with it's just a town hall and it's 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 frozen up as well it cannot provide any resistance to us i didn't i didn't i i forgot to even deploy my mini warden that's that's how ridiculous this is it's it's so silly it's so yeah you can see this approach i find it a little bit more surgical than the straight up spam approach because you do not have to worry too much about like traps in like the areas that you're going for you can do it you can use your warden to funnel and he does a much better job at funneling rather than having like troops just go for an amount that you can't really understand because we do not know what traps are there in the base like there was an attack where the attacker had placed i think like five teslas or something and like all four of his skeleton traps and the funnel was just not created and it caused all of my troops to like leak around and that was that was not a great experience so i feel this approach is a much better one and i let's dive into the next one yeah i think i've got like an attack or two more let's just move on to the next one yeah okay um for the next one we've got an anti two style setup but it's not a very compact core you'll see like the heavy defenses actually spread pretty well around the town hall and that could be a challenge i'm not very sure but it definitely looks a little bit tough to handle like suppose if it was super bonus match for example this is definitely a tougher base for us to handle because it's not having most of the defenses stacked in a particular area but that should be fine so the plan for this one is i just noticed how these expos were on air making this entire area susceptible to a flame finger the flanks don't really have much value and there's like enemy hero protection as well over here as well sure maybe i could have gone for the eagle with the flame finger but i thought i could just start my smash into the eagle instead because um, it also gives me the monolith the cc pull just no reason not to push my smash through there this entire area behind the town hall though it has a lot of void spaces and i didn't want to try to play around with that so this is definitely like the spot for the flame finger there are two mortars over here but it's nothing we cannot handle with cookies or frost might spells anyways um that was the plan for the flame finger so if i start drawing it out on the map i think the flame finger is gonna maybe carve out something like that for us i'm not using the flame finger as a funnel instead you're gonna see me do something very interesting on this one uh, i'm just hoping the flame finger clears out enough on the back end such that we pretty much don't have to deal with the area behind the town hall it should be something like just this much of the base that we have to deal with with the rest of our army and what i'm going to do for that is you've already seen i've started the warden at the top of the base so again i don't want him to uh, clear the enemy royal champion i just want him to clear this much i just want him to clear enough defenses for me 
such that my root headers can definitely go around this way but then this corner this this corner is pretty heavy we've got a multi archer tower we've got the king we've got the we've got the uh, multi infra uh, we've got the ricochet cannon sorry we've got the ricochet cannon as well on the other side of the base so what can we do to kind of like have the funnel be set on this side as well so that my entire smash can move through like this towards the town hall you're gonna find out in just a minute i'm not gonna spoil it for you guys and let's just wait for that uh, to approach so we're just gonna be a bit patient over here notice that my warden was taking quite a bit of damage because the frosty was only freezing i think one defense or something like that but there's like i think two or three defenses on my warden so i just dropped this spell over here to spawn additional frostmites for me and that helped out a lot like the warden is now slowly healing up he is able to handle the defense one at a time no problems for us at all you can see i was i've also started tanking these mortars down over here the flame damage on from this tesla is definitely helping out taking out the other mortar as well it should be no problem even if the flame finger only grabs this one multi inferno for me it's perfectly fine but luckily i caught it just in time and yeah i managed to tank it anyways i dropped a few cookies over here no problems for us that cleared the initial funnel for us one cookie for the king no problem the king is gone but we still got defenses left over here so you'll see what i started doing i've, I've just directly dropped the royal champion and she al along with some other cookies are gonna help create that funnel for us and you can see how quickly they're clearing out the entire corner for us too doing an amazing job my heroes are in the core some of my root riders in the core i am i am satisfied with this like uh, it's very easy to create that funnel mm, it's not entirely spammy you have to think a bit you have to think on your toes a bit and you can see i am doing the same thing i'm dropping my frostmites on the heaviest pockets of damage around the base and as i was saying i only want like this much of the base to be dealt with um with my smash and my cookies and my royal champion and you can see how the synergy is now coming up between the troops from my flame finger and whatever is left of my heroes so we've overwhelmed the back end of the base and that's another pickup for us so definitely keep an eye out for such uh, weaknesses in the base where you can exploit using a flame finger because you're going to see a lot of changes in the base metas these days where they're going to try to separate like back ends of the base are going to be very difficult they're going to try to bait your entry such that it's going to be difficult to finish the base so as to say so definitely keep an eye out try this army out for yourself and let me know how it goes for you in the comments if you did enjoy this video leave a like share with your friends subscribe it's all up to you it's all just to help the channel out uh, but thank you for watching i hope you guys have a great day and peace i'll see you guys in the next video